Hey everybody, we are at Knott's Berry Farm for Penis Celebration 2024. This is going to be our guide to give you a little bit of what to expect from the event. We hope to help out a little bit with that. So the event itself runs from January 27th to February 25th. Uh, the event is included in the daily admission price. So if you're a pass holder, you can come on out, no extra fees or anything like that. If you are not a pass holder, you're going to buy a daily ticket. One thing to keep an eye out is they do have a bundle deal this year. Starts at $74.99 on the Saturday, for example, the day that we're starting out here today. It's $84.99, but included in that with admission is actually a daily uh, dining plan. And so we're we're going to talk in this video about some of the food offerings and I think you'll probably be wanting to try some of what they have to offer and so that is something to consider there. It's important to note lots of construction in Camp Snoopy. We want to say that as we start off we're right here as you can see there are walls everywhere in Camp Snoopy. The offerings are a lot less this season. It's going to be fantastic I'm sure when it's done by summertime but it is just something to plan if you're not as familiar with Knott's Berry Farm if you're just coming out for one day to check your kind of expectations a little bit and make sure to manage those so that you know uh, kind of what you're getting into. The other thing about the event we want to point out is just that you do get a very different experience on the weekdays versus the weekends. So the weekends have expanded hours. Uh, you'll find that most weekdays during the run, it is only open like 11 to 6 in most cases. So plan accordingly with that. The other thing is a lot of the entertainment offerings differ. So we're going to show you a little bit of a sampling of it at its full power today and we hope you'll really like seeing that. But things like Sketch School, Trivia Challenge, James Street Trio, uh, Snoopy's Legendary Rooftop Concert, uh, It's Your Life, Charlie Brown, The Cavalcade. All of those are Saturday, Sunday, or holiday only currently on the entertainment offering. So make sure before you do head out, before you decide on a day, that you check either the app or the website to see what the offerings are going to be to make sure that you are in good shape with all of that. So speaking of entertainment, let's take you on a quick whirlwind look at some of the offerings this season. There's a little trick there, Daddy, I know. Look at, here they are. Hello, gentlemen. Look at go. And right there under the stage. Go ahead. Good job. Let's show your mom, everybody. Go ahead, Trevor. Let's see it. Let's see. I like that. I like that method. That was nice. That was nice. Hi, Similar to a boot or a cartoon shoe. So now as we start to round it around as we go to the snoot, we're going to round it out just like the little woodstock flying around. Does everybody like woodstock? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a little yellow bird. Very good. And as we're going all the way down, we are going to start to dip. And then we're going to curve it going towards his neck. Now, Snoopy. Oh my goodness, he's looking to the side. Now, what is above your eyes that's kind of hairy? Eyebrows. So, those are great for expressions. So, I'm going to add a little arch right there. And then another one outside of his head. Why? Because he's a cartoon dog and he breaks the laws of physics. Yes, eyebrows are really good for expressions when you, you look very stern or really happy. And you can always look in a mirror for reference of yourself. All right, so now, my goodness, everyone, look at that. We just drew the logo, legal, 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 Snoopy. Give yourself a big round of applause. Very good. And now. It's your life, Charlie Brown. So turn that frown upside down. 
All right, there's so many fantastic entertainment options that are taking place during Peanuts Celebration. But as I said, those are limited. You're going to mostly be stuck with Saturdays or Sundays only. That said, food has it available all throughout the event. So if you can come on one of those weekdays, and actually, you're going to have a much better time probably with lines. I mean, our experience in the opening day here has been huge lines. They are minus coasters right now, as well as Camp Snoopy food options. So you already have, like, you have big crowds and you have less places to eat. Now, new this year, they've added a tasting card option, but they haven't added tasting booths. And so unlike something like Boysenberry Festival, where there's these extra booths to kind of take some of the pressure off of the uh, counter service spots, that isn't taking place here. So it's awesome that there are the t is the tasting card option there. It's $45, uh, and it has a variety of items there that are part of Peanuts Celebration. Besides that, then you're ordering a la carte, or of course, if you have the dining plan, a few of the items are on there. But as you can si see behind me, Boardwalk Barbecue, this might be the shortest line we've seen today. And if you're familiar with Knott's Berry Farm, that's a really long line for Boardwalk Barbecue. It's almost in that kind of Christmas type season. So do pack your patience if you are coming on the weekends there. You can see over on this side, the funnel cake line is stretching out to the side. Uh, truly, we split up into a group of four, into, I'm sorry, a group of three into three different directions. And all three of them were just really, really long. So if coming on the weekends, you'll have that bonus of the entertainment, but you really got to pack your patience when it comes to the food options, bring some snacks maybe to help hold you over. If you're coming on the weekdays, probably going to have much less challenge getting food, but then you minus the show. So it is kind of an opportunity cost situation. That said, let's check out a few of the items we have been able to get our hands on today uh, as we've been trying to get a few of the paint celebration items to taste them. So this is Marcy's Alfredo Pasta Pinwheel, available at the Prop Shop Pizzeria. but it's not, it's a lighter sort of bread and the pasta, um, it's there, but it's not an overwhelming amount. It's, it uh, tastes like Alfredo pasta. It's kind of standard Alfredo sauce. It's kind of creamy inside. Um, tastes good. Okay, so this is the uh, fully loaded cheesecake batter and Mac Gummies Funnel Cake, available at the Log Ride uh, Funnel Cake Shop. Um, this is not what the picture looked like. The guy didn't seem very concerned with the appearance. He just kind of threw it together. So I don't know, I'm gonna try it. I'm very intrigued by the cheesecake stuff. Mm -mm. Try one of the gummies first. Again. The gummy is just a sweet um, gummy, like a gummy bear would taste. It doesn't have much flavor to it. Um, I'm intrigued by the cheesecake uh, batter. That's interesting. It's um, almost kind of like a cheesecake pudding. It doesn't really feel seem like a cookie batter or cake batter or cheesecake. It's kind of a, more of a pudding flavor. Um, Ice cream and whipped cream. Um, so yeah, it's kind of 
interesting. It's um, it's most it's a funnel cake, and then this topping that is like I said more of a pudding than it is a cheesecake. Uh, it's okay. I don't know if I would get it again. The color is also a little off-putting, obviously, but it looks like it's like just you know, mac and cheese, but it's not. It's more of like a pudding sort of texture. All right, trying the Charlie Brownie from the Ghost Town Bakery here. And the brownie itself is good. I mean, it's a basic chocolate brownie. Can't go too wrong with that. But the frosting on top is really sweet, which I do have a bit of a low tolerance for sweetness, but it is like full-on sugar. Not as much like a cake topping as it is just tastes like really strong sugar. Good to get a big sweet tooth, I think. and cheese loaf which is available at boardwalk barbecue it's kind of interesting there's obviously mac and cheese there's ham but there's also pineapple in here so that i didn't realize so was... it's very cheesy not too salty very creamy i actually like it and i like um the change of texture from the pineapple and then this crusty part is good as well. It adds another layer, another kind of texture with a little crispiness. So overall, I like it actually. And I like the really the pineapple um, adds a change up in there. So I like it. And then it comes with a side, and I chose the potatoes, and it comes with cornbread. Good deal, and it tastes good. Okay, so this is the Swedish meatballs and mac and cheese on fries. Um, I only got two Swedish meatballs and they're pretty small so I was thought that there'd be more at <laughs> the meatball aspect but the meatball it doesn't have a ton of flavoring. Um, I'm mostly just kind of casing the ground beef with a little bit of cheese on it. Um, the mac and cheese. Uh, it's kind of just standard mac and cheese. It's very creamy. I'm going to try by with the fries, the mac and cheese, and the meatball. to me with the fries and the pasta but um, if you like mac and cheese and you like fries it's probably a good combo to try all right we hope you enjoyed that guide to knots peanut celebration 2024 hope it helps give you a little bit of an idea of what to expect and optimize your trip i know we're excited to come back out a few more times this season and experience all it has to offer it's a great blend of kids entertainment as well as a lot of things for foodies to take on as well so if you want a deeper dive into all things peanut celebration you can check out our podcast where as you find podcasts on all sorts of feeds there we'll be talking all about our opening day at knott's peanut celebration 2024 so we're wrapping up here from the streets of ghost town at the moment until next time we'll see you in line somewhere